Lineage OS stops Xiaomi builds temporarily because of DMCA takedowns issued by Sense Time. Let's talk about this issue. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're gonna have a small discussion about Lineage OS stopping their builds for Xiaomi devices. They sent out this tweet. Again, all of the things which we talk about in this video will be linked in the description. So Lineage OS sent out this tweet on 9th of August 2019, mentioning that they are temporarily stopping builds for Xiaomi devices. I guess there were a lot of peeps who got worried that this might be a permanent thing. For starters, let me get that fear out of the way. As you can see, they mention in the tweet themselves that they are temporarily stopping builds for Xiaomi devices and this is Lineage OS official. You will still be able to get unofficial builds if you know where to get them, which is most likely in the Telegram groups and some posts on XDA developers. Now, what is the issue here? The issue here is that whenever you build a custom ROM for any device, whether you're building Lineage OS or Carbon, or POSP, Dirty Unicorns, whatever ROM you're building, you need proprietary vendor blobs. Android as an operating system is open source, but there are certain functionality which is not open source and to execute those or to make sure that those work fully in your custom ROMs, you need something called vendor blobs. These vendor blobs are what is the closed source stuff you do not have the source for it so you cannot build it from source you use the extracted or you use the files from your current firmware builds from the stock firmware so what what developers do is that they will take your existing firmware from say xiaomi and then they will unpack it extract it and then grab those files which they need to ensure that all the functionality is working in their custom ROMs, which is why this repository called the Muppets exists. If you have a look at this repo on GitHub, it has only proprietary files. You can tell by the name, so proprietary vendor Xiaomi, proprietary vendor HTC. If you go into proprietary vendor HTC, you will see that it has the files for a lot of devices. So these are all the devices for which you have the proprietary files. You have M7, M8, all the devices by HTC. Now, if you go into any other, so let's go into proprietary vendor OnePlus. So here you will have the proprietary vendor files for all the OnePlus devices, or if not all, then most of them. So this is the reason why this repository Muppets exists. As I mentioned earlier, it only has proprietary vendor blobs. So in case of a DMCA takedown, only the Muppets or the proprietary vendor blobs would be lost. That is why they have separate repos for the proprietary vendor stuff. This is in fact shared by all the custom ROM developers. And this is the reason they separated it because in case of a DMCA takedown, if you have the proprietary vendor stuff in your normal GitHub, say for the Lineage OS, it is in the Lineage OS source. If you have it over there, then you might lose your open source code as well because of the DMCA takedown. It depends on how bad the company whose proprietary vendor blobs you have hosted on github wants to hurt you so that is the only reason why the muppets exist in case of a dmca takedown even if the whole account is shut down it won't affect your open source code now that being said let's have a look at this dmca request for starters it only affects the proprietary vendor xiaomi folder if i click on that you can see that the specific repo is unavailable due to a dmca takedown it could have been bad they could have asked for the whole account to be shut down but they didn't which is a good thing the dmca takedown request was sent by sense time mobile which is a chinese company i think they work with xiaomi and provide the face unlock stuff so their proprietary blobs it's not their open source code it wasn't their code it is their proprietary blobs so this app time service i'm just giving you an example this is an apk you won't have any C++ or any Java source code in the proprietary vendor blobs. It's a very rare thing. So they sent down this request because they didn't want their blobs to be hosted online, right? And that's what GitHub did. They had to oblige with the request and that specific repo along with all its 
perks which i think are 453 fox i am now off github what does that mean that doesn't mean that lineage os will stop developing for the xiaomi devices as of now no they will develop for it they're gonna fix it they're gonna have to find a workaround the only workaround i know for these kind of issues or these kind of dmca takedowns is that you do not host the blobs anywhere the developers will keep them on their computers and when they provide you with a rom what they're going to do is they will bake in the vendor so for example if you remember for the poco f1 you have to flash the vendor separately in some cases what they're going to do is they're going to keep the proprietary stuff on their own build machines and not post it online on github and that is where the unofficial builds come into the picture i'm not promoting any of you peeps like hosting these proprietary blobs or you know getting into the piracy part of it but i'm telling you the workaround which i know of i may be wrong but this is the workaround which i know of that you do not post these vendor blobs on github you just keep them on your own computer and share it through google drive or whatever mega website you want to amongst other developers so there's no need to worry about it or the other other thing is like if you still want to keep it on github then the other thing to bypass this would be you remove the blobs which are from sense time in which case i think face unlock will stop working on custom roms for xiaomi devices so that is the other way you can work around this issue so again nothing major to worry about over here you will get your custom rom builds and this happens from time to time this is sense time which has done it maybe down the line xiaomi does it or some other oem does it it happens a lot of times just that because it's xiaomi and lineage os this time and there's a fear among users that you will not get any more builds or they're stopping it permanently that it makes headlines and it makes news so there's nothing to worry about it everything is going to be fine and that will do it for this video peeps i hope my video helped you and gave you some insight on how things work behind the scenes when making custom roms for devices likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you